Just inside the entry door here are a series of switches. We'll start right here down at the bottom of your main power switch. So the main power switch is what controls the 12 volt to the inside of the coach. This will turn your lights on and off or your multiplex system here. It allows you to have power to the switch so you can use it. If you should turn this off, it is not a battery disconnect. Your batteries will still drain even though this switch is off. So make sure that we do battery disconnects if you're wanting to do a total uh, power down of your coach. The next series of switches up right here is step light and step power. So the step light is the surrounding light here around the step and also a, a light underneath. And then the step power is the switch we would push if we wanted those steps to stay out when the door is open or closed. That is the switch that we need to be in the on position. With this switch here is the multiplex switching and the multiplex switch has several things on it. There's a panel light, your cargo locks, um, awning lights, and there is a PS and a DS passenger side versus driver side. Anywhere you see an arrow on any of these multiplex switches within the coach, that means it dims. So it is a dimmable circuit. And anywhere you would see a P or an H, anywhere in the coach on one of these switch panels is a dual function switch. So it means press and hold. If you press it one time, it does one function. If you press and hold it, it will do multiple functions. One thing to note here on the light master, this does have a memory. So whatever lights you have turned on when you leave the coach, if you would simply press the off button, the next time you come back and just one touch on the on button, that will bring it back to the same setting that it was on when you turned the coach off.